So we've got this simulation here that's really useful for looking at this concept of entropy. In this simulation, I can put a whole bunch of particles on one side and a bunch of particles of a different color on the other side. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at how the different temperatures are going to cause these particles to move, just like we did on the whiteboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to maximize the temperature of the red particles, so red means hot, and lower the temperature of the blue particles, blue means cold. I've got this handy dandy little guy right here that'll show me the data. It shows me the average temperature on this side, the average temperature on this side, and the number of particles on both sides. And for this first exercise, what I want to do is I just want to look at 10 particles on each side and see how this changes. So I click this button and it removes the divider. And I can see right off the bat, my red particles are going to move. They're moving all around already. They're going to quickly move over to this side. And we can see now it's pretty crowded on this side and we start to have collisions between our molecules, which is going to drive more particles over to this side. And if we watch the temperature here, over time, we're going to see it kind of swing back and forth, back and forth, but eventually it'll really even out. Now keep in mind, we're just using 10 particles here just to start to see this pattern. It's going to happen very slowly. But in a real life scenario, I'm not going to have just 10 little molecules of gas. I'm going to have trillions. So to get a better idea of what that looks like, and see even just over the course of me talking, we're getting a lot closer to even. But just to see what that looks like, let's reset our divider. I've still got my, my particles on this side and particles on this side. The temperature is still the same. But let's add a lot more. Let's look at 100. Let's go to 100 for each. And then when we remove the divider, let's see how much faster this happens. So the divider has been removed. And I still have my red molecules moving to the left a lot faster than my blues move to the right. But my temperatures get really close to even really quickly. Imagine how much faster this would happen if I had an actual, uh, my, if my number of particles was actually close to how many are really in the air that we breathe. It's happening so quickly. And this is so, so quickly mixed up. If I pause it here, we can see this is extremely chaotic. It started very orderly. It started with all of these, all of these molecules separated. But now suddenly there's, there's no separation here. What do you think are the chances that all of my blues would end up back on the left side and all of my reds would end up back on the right side? There's almost no chance of that happening at all. So let's reset our divider one more time. I'm going to hit play. And this time, I'm going to have them both at the same temperature. Because I want us to see that this mixing up is going to happen because of entropy. Not just because these have more energy, not just because we have energy flowing, but because we're going to naturally have these particles mixing up. This is the same concept that drives the flow of energy, the flow of heat and temperature. But even if we don't have a difference in temperature, we're still going to see these things mix up. So we remove that divider, and they're all going to mix together very quickly. And all of a sudden, after just a few seconds, after just a few seconds, all of my molecules are going to be mixed up. It's a lot more chaotic. This is a lot less orderly. But it is more favorable. It's easier for the molecules to take on this configuration because of entropy. Because it's a lot easier for all these red molecules to move across all of this space, and the same with the blue, than it is for them to stay in this smaller confined space. So because it's easier for them, for them to spread out, they will spread out. So I'm going to send the link to this simulation along with this video. So you guys can go ahead and play around with this. You know, you could adjust, if I reset the divider, I can adjust how large these particles are. I can make them smaller. I can make these ones larger. 
and see how that affects things. I can make the masses different. And I can really see how just these differences in the molecules themselves could really impact how this change, how this, this mixture is going to happen.